no commentary here simply because I'm not following the guidebook. I'm just taking in the atmosphere. It's just astounding. So, I mean, you have to admire the work, as I've said before, whether be it religious or secular uh, orientation, uh, oriented, and uh, irrespective of what the uh, impulse was. And clearly, if it's a religious impulse or irreligious, it doesn't matter. But art is art, and this is absolutely stunning. This cathedral is stunning. Uh, as part of the Baroque counter-reformation, this is absolutely stunning. It's an experience. You have to experience it, even if you're not a Christian. As I said, it's just art and the capabilities of the human spirit. Uh, the motivation of these people clearly was religious, but that doesn't make a bit of difference to any human who is in here. You have to be moved by the grandeur, by the scale, by the sheer tapestry of life that you see here. The, I think this is called the Baldacchino, I, I believe it is. This is stunning. I mean, you, you read about it, but you don't know what it is till you actually see it. The scale is astounding. That's bronze. So these Renaissance uh, architects, uh, and definitely, uh, this is an oeuvre, a vision, that is working on a titanic scale. And this is meant to actually impress impress and shock and awe the Protestant, because this is a counter-reformation. The Protestants were already in full force. Martin Luther was gathering steam. And this tells the Protestant, you know, a finger in your eye, we are the actual church. We are the true word. And you guys are going to go and rot in hell or something equivalent, because you are deluded. You've gone away from Mother Church. And um, so it, it, it's a political statement too, a very powerful political statement, a visceral statement. And you had great artists and great vision and a lot of money uh, of the Pope's side. How ill-begotten it was, but still, it's left an impressive legacy. Right? And Bernini, hats off to you. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. Stunning. There's just no other word for it. You have to be here. You don't get the scale when you watch it on video, probably. But when you are here in front of it, uh, it's just gigantic. It's it humbles the soul. As I said before, if you have an open, open mind, open heart, you cannot but be awed by the majesty of this place. I don't feel anything religious, but I do feel, I feel deeply spiritual, a sense of connection to every other single human individual who's ever lived, because this is what humanity has achieved together. I guess it's the same thing when you look at, uh, you know, go to any other temple or go to a, a Sophia Hogya or the mosque in Istanbul but uh, a very, very special place. Highly recommended for everybody. You need to come visit the Basilica of St. Peter's. So what I can say from a secular person, it's a deeply moving experience, but it's diluted by the fact that I'm video shooting. I need to shut it off and just have an experiential sense of what it means, of the, of the omniscience of this place. That's it.